This is me. And this is my sister Ellen. We're close. Like, really close. And she's only 14 months older than me. People think we look a lot alike, even like twins. In fact, when we were growing up, people used to just combine our names and call us both Helen to make it easier on them. But honestly, I don't see it. Maybe it's because we're such different people in so many other ways that I don't think we look that much alike. But we do have some similarities. We are sisters, after all. First, Ellen is a mom. And I am not. I guess I should say she's more like super mom. She's got three kids and her life is dedicated to raising them, homeschooling them, and doing everything she possibly can to give them the best life. Second, Ellen is meticulously organized and always has been. For me, on the other hand, finding my glasses in the morning is something to celebrate. Ellen has always been much better at money and all things related to finances. Me, I just get stuck on making up characters and doing yoga so I forget I'm supposed to make money in order to buy essentials like food. Ellen's always been more girly than me, and I grew up more of a tomboy. Even now, I'm more comfortable in masculine clothing most of the time. We actually have very different tastes in almost everything. Music, books, TV shows, clothes, YouTube channels, Instagrammers, even food a lot of the time. We both have YouTube channels, but she started way before I did. And she knows how to make her videos really beautiful, while I know how to make them more funny. In fact, I sometimes try to make videos beautiful, and I always end up cracking jokes. I'm the bookish one between us. Ellen loves to learn and read educational or self-help type books, whereas I'm only interested in reading fiction. I've recommended a lot of novels to her over the years, but the only ones she's ever read were these two because she liked the covers. <laughs> and they were big books, so she thought she looked cool reading them. But really, she's still a bit of a poser because she thinks the Twilight series is good literature. One of the biggest differences between us is that I have always loved to start new things. Sometimes I finish them, sometimes I don't. I'm just interested in a zillion things at once, and I like it that way. Ellen, though, knows what she wants and sticks to it. She doesn't get distracted from her goals. I've always been better at traditional school than Ellen. Ellen would have to study for hours to get a B, and I would just show up for a test without studying and ace it. Of course, we know that doesn't mean I'm smarter, I'm just good at taking tests, i.e. memorizing and regurgitating. Ellen is super picky, and I'm like, whatever. Ellen is the bossy one. I'm the sarcastic one. She's clean, I'm messy. She's got a long face, I've got a round one. I look like mom, she looks like dad. I have to manage my depression and anxiety, and she's even tempered and always content. I go to Ellen to help me with my Instagram pictures, and she comes to me to help her with her Instagram captions. Ellen is business savvy, and I'm not. Ellen tries to use big words, but they're almost always used in the wrong way, and I'm a pretentious booty hole who has to point it out every time. But we are both passionate vegans who were originally plant-based. When we first changed our diets almost 12 years ago, Ellen discovered it first and just went for it overnight. But it took me years and years to figure out how to make it work. Then, we both made the ethical connection at the same time, and now it's not just a diet for us, but a lifestyle. Ellen is well-educated on topics she's passionate about, and I'm always learning new ideas from her. We love to talk about things that matter and debating with each other about important topics, disagreeing, and attempting to see the other person's point of view. I feel like every time we talk, she teaches me something new. Oh, and we are both addicted to playing with our hair, which we realize makes us seem really ditzy, but we don't care what people think because we know we've taken it to an Olympic level, and if anyone was actually paying attention, they'd be impressed. My sister and I are best friends. We can be utterly ourselves around each other more than with anyone else. We can literally talk to each other about anything, and we never feel judged, and that to me is true friendship. I look up to my sister so much, I still feel like the little sister at times because I want her advice on everything and I think she's just the most incredible and inspiring woman and I would be a completely different person if I didn't have her in my life. I love you, Ellen. Do not react at all. Yeah, it's going to make me react now that you're saying that. Alright, ready?